so here is some important uh, configurations about Kaplan turbine. Uh, Kaplan turbine, it is a reaction turbine. When the head at inlet of the turbine is some pressure energy and kinetic energy and during the flow of water through runner a part of pressure energy is converted into kinetic energy the turbine is known as reaction turbine the shaft of an axial flow reaction turbine is vertical so disposition of shaft is only vertical here it is purely axial flow turbine if water flows parallel to the axis of rotation of shaft the turbine is known as axial flow turbine number of blades varies from 3 to 6 so these turbines are more suitable under low head and high discharge usually 3 to 6 number of blades are usually used in this turbine if blades more than 6 the contact surface with water increases thereby the frictional resistance increases if blades are less than 3 this result in too much reduction of contact surface with water thereby energy losses in exit water increases hence too much or too less the contact between the blade surfaces and water are not beneficial for us so for optimum contact surface 3 to 6 number of blades are recommended and blades are made up of stainless steel and mounted on the hub runner vanes are adjustable as we discussed earlier the if vanes are not adjustable they are fixed on the hub that is the propeller turbine but in case of Kaplan turbine runner vanes are adjustable it is low head turbine up to 30 meter large flow rate low head and here is a high discharge high specific turbine the speed varies from 250 to 800, 850 rpm and heavy duty governor is used for governing of this turbine so this is the shaft with which hub of the turbine is attached this is the hub these are the vanes on the runner which varies 3 to 6 this is the scroll casing these are the main parts of the Kaplan turbine this is scroll casing this is the guide vane which guide the water from casing to the towards the runner vane and this is the draft tube which is used only in reaction turbine as in Kaplan or process turbine which usually uh, shows the path to the water to discharge towards tail rays So water is coming to starts uh, from scroll casing and passes through the guide vanes and now the water that is discharged that is parallel to the axis of the shaft and as the uh, water strikes on these vanes the runner starts to rotate and it will rotate the shaft which is coupled with it and finally the water which is discharged through the draft tube towards tail rays. This is a tail race uh, of our top surface of the water that is the tail race. This is the DB, this is the <coughs> D note. These are DB and D note. Here DB is the diameter of the hub and D note is the outer diameter of the runner. And here VF1 this is the velocity of flow at inlet. And finally the discharge is here that is pi by 4 D note square minus DB square that into VF1. And this is uh, the diagram of uh, hub as uh, soft and hub and veins are adjustable on it uh, this is a nice view of the hub and this hub is also known as a boss so in case of Kaplan turbine there are some points need to be remembered first one is the ferricular velocity a velocity of the wheel at inlet and outlet both are equal u1 equal to u2 that is equal to pi d naught and divided by 60 Velocity of flow at inlet and outlet are equal Vf1 equal to Vf2 and the area of flow at inlet equal to area of flow at outlet. These are the important points which are need to be remembered. 
सो एरिया ऑफ फ्लो एट इनलेट एंड आउटलेट बोथ आर इक्वल फाइव बाई फोर डी नोट स्केयर माइनस डी बी स्केयर डी नोट इज हेयर आउटर डायमीटर ऑफ द रनर एंड डी बी इज द इनलेट डायमीटर ऑफ डायमीटर ऑफ द हब सो थैंक यू दिस इज अबाउट कैपलेन ट्रबाइन विच इज एंड रिएक्शन ट्रबाइन लो हेड एंड हाई स्पेसिफिक ट्रबाइन एंड एक्जियल फ्लो ट्रबाइन एंड एक्जियल फ्लो बिकॉज द फ्लो ऑफ द वाटर दैट इज पैरल टू द एक्सिस ऑफ द साफ्ट थैंक यू